Hey, welcome to Two Minutes. This episode is all about why your Pathfinder is deleting objects. Let's get into it. You might be wondering why your Pathfinder is deleting things. Let me show you why. Let's use this panel as an example. Say I want these a little bit shorter. So I'll go ahead and create a rectangle and I just wanna cut the edges of them. Let's change this to a different color for this tutorial. All right, maybe that's a bad color. <laughs> there we go. And say we wanna just use the minus front option. Now you think it would cut all of this excess off, but if we do it, it only cuts one of them, this one on the very bottom. Why? It's because Illustrator is trying to do it on only one object at a time, and it uses the object that's in the, in the back, the farthest away. So how do you fix this? Well, instead of having them grouped together, you want what's called a compound path. You want Illustrator to think it's one object. And to do that, you hit Command-8 or Control-8 if you're on PC. Now when we try to do it, you'll see that it'll cut them all evenly just the way we want to. Let's show you on some text too. Let's create some text. We'll just put in text. And let's say we expand that text. So let's go ahead and make it into actual editable object, okay? Let's say we want to cut a circle out of the T and the E just at the bottom here. Now, if we try to do it, it's gonna do the same thing. It's only gonna happen with T, and that's because it's trying to use all of these objects, the circle, the E, the X, and the T, to cut out the first T. So let me show you. If I put all of these together over the T, right, the E's overlapping here, and we try to use the minus front, it's gonna erase that part of the T as well. It's trying to use all those objects to affect only one. So if we take all of this and we hit, take all of this <laughs> and hit command eight, you might have to change the color back and then hit minus front. You're gonna get the results you're looking for. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching.